Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, 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 welcome back. I know you saw the thumbnail, so yes, in this video we are going to be making a Big Mac chopped cheese sandwich. Now this sandwich is originated out of New York, where I'm from and where I live. So, let's get started. First we're going to start out by melting some butter on the griddle so that I can toast my bread that I'm going to be using. And for the middle piece that normally goes inside of uh, the Big Mac sandwich isn't a regular, you know, top or bottom part of the bun. So I had to make something up. You'll see here. <laughs> Let me get this all through. Probably going to need a little bit more butter. Just a little bit. Okay, that should do. You want to press down a little bit to make sure that your butter is getting onto the middle part of the bread and toasting it all the way through. So here, okay, I'm going to be using this for the middle parts of my uh, bread, like the uh, Big Mac bun. So I kind of like just cut, cut out the center of, you know, the bread. So we're going to let that toast. Just a little. Okay guys, so the bread pieces are toasted. Well, the bread buns, I'm sorry. And we'll be right back when we start cooking the patties. Okay guys, so we're back and now it's time to start cooking the patties. So I put a little vegetable oil on here, about a tablespoon and a half. And I'm just spreading it through the griddle so that when we fry our burgers, It'll have a nice crust on it. There's one. Then there's two. I'm going to be using three for this recipe. So I can make sure that I have enough meat to assemble these sandwiches. All right. And I'm going to be using my uh, special burger seasoning for these. If you'd like to know what that is, just comment in the section below. And I'll be happy to share that with you. Who knows, I may bottle this up one day. It's really, really, really good. Okay. Wanna make sure we have flavor all through and out. Especially after we smash them up. <clears throat> You don't ever want to have a bland burger that's tasteless when you're just chewing <laughs> meat. 
All right, that should work. Okay. So I'm going to let these cook, and I'll be right back after we get that perfect crust on them, and it's time to chop. Okay, guys, these are coming along beautifully. Now I flip them over. I'm just going to add a little seasoning on each side. And if you, you know, like to, you can just use salt and pepper in this or maybe just some pepper and uh, all-purpose seasoning. Okay, guys, it's time to chop, 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 chop. So it's not going to be done all the way inside. And that's okay because once you chop them up, it's going to cook even faster and better. Now I'm going to change the spatula. Let's break out the big dog. There we go. Okay, okay. So the meat is finely chopped to the way that it's supposed to be. As you can see here, you can see bits and pieces of like um, the crust from the burger patty being fried originally and now it's time to add the cheese so let's do that now we're just going to mix this until it melts completely Cheese is almost fully mixed in. I did add uh, one more slice that I tore in half. There we go. That is going to be amazing. All right. Comment below and let me know if you ever had uh, a chopped cheese sandwich or if you have ever been to New York if you're not from here or if you're not living here now. Okay. Oh my God, this smells so good. The smell of melted cheese and the actual burger meat with the uh, seasoning that I used. It's amazing. Okay guys, so this is done here. This is what it should look like unless you choose to add more cheese. It'll be a bit cheesier, but you're just looking for the flavor. And it's about that time to assemble that sandwich. I have everything that we will need to make this sandwich. So let's get started. I think I'm going to break this up. Yeah, let's do that. So this is the bottom part of the bread. And here's the Mac sauce. I actually made this earlier. If you want the ingredients to make this, I'll put the link in the description below. So you can go to that video and watch how I made this. Okay, so for the bottom part, you are going to be adding some of this Mac sauce. Put as much as you like. But not a whole heap. You don't want your bread to get soggy on you. Okay, 
There we go, that should do. Okay, now we're gonna go with our diced onions. Just a few, you don't want a whole bunch unless you like it that way. But remember, there's already onions in the sauce and you're gonna make another layer. Okay, after the onions, we will be adding the lettuce. I shredded these earlier off camera. Okay, add as much as you as you would like. Whoa. Okay, after that, now for the meat. Okay. A nice serving of that. All right, that looks beautiful already. Okay, now we, we will be adding the uh, middle part of the bread that I toasted earlier. Check that out. All right. Nice, right? I know. <laughs> okay, so after the bread, we're going to be adding more sauce. Let's do it. Let's do it. Guys, this is going to be a sloppy sandwich. I could have left the uh, back of the sandwich, well, the bread attached and just opened it and added the ingredients, but I felt like making it a little more like what we know the McDonald's sandwich to look like. Okay, there's more of that sauce. Now we're gonna do some more diced onions. Yeah, all right, all right. Guys, I trust me, if you make this sandwich, you're gonna fall in love with it. All right, let's do it, let's do it. A little more onion, cause I like onions. Okay, so after that, we're gonna add more lettuce. Don't worry if some falls, it's A-OK. -okay. okay, that's enough of that. Now we're gonna go in with our pickles. I guess if you don't like pickles, you can definitely omit this part. Add as much as you like. I love pickles. Definitely a pickle person. Whoa, baby, whoa. All right, get over here. Where you going? Where you going? Get back. Get back over here. Whoa. Okay. Now, after the pickles, we're going to do some more meat. I'm so afraid of this part because of the height of this sandwich already. Hold on guys, I'm getting some more meat. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Man, this smells so much like a real McDonald's burger. All of the 
ingredients in this and man oh i cannot wait to eat this all right that should do now we add the bread unless you want to add other ingredients that's totally up to you but here is my sandwich ain't that a hot one check that out so guys that completes the sandwich hopefully you will try this recipe I'm trying to get it to stay and it just doesn't want to Hopefully you will try this recipe and you will like it. So like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another vid.